Hey there, I'm back again with a new video for you guys, but this time it won't be again related. I found a new field of interest for me, uh, muzzle loading or muzzle loading rifles. Uh, those are also free to own in Germany, so I can get my hands on them very easily. And I think they are better quality than, for example, cheap air guns or something like this. So I will be buying muzzle loading rifles in the future. And what I have now to show are some items I've ordered from IMA, International Military Antiques, from the uh, USA. And this is a British P1853 socket bayonet, an original socket bayonet from Nepal. Uh, they found it in the Nepalese cache uh, in 2003, I guess, and shipped it to the US. So I can make a few bucks of it and I bought the uh, bayonet, which is, I suppose, over 130 years old from them for 71.45 with a hand selection option. And it's in relative, relatively good shape, I guess, and two British uh, Enfield uh, leather slings for my upcoming Pedazoli Enfield rifles and I will show it real quick. This is the bandit obviously and the two rifle slings. But they are not the subject for this video now. It's the bandit and as you can see it's in relative good shape. It's not bent and uh, I will not touch it or I won't touch it with my bare hands because it's really filthy. It comes with this protection on the tip here. I'll give you a close-up of this. It smells really filthy, like a really old rotten basement. It has this, this scent to it. It's it's, it, is, it isn't really a nice smell and as you can see I hope it's not too heavily pitted and rusted. It even comes with a with a dead spider inside. <laughs> so this is the IMA Nepalese P1853 socket bayonet, an original one and I will have to clean it. Uh, this video is also dedicated to Braden Robertson who gave me some uh, advice on how to clean this uh, bayonet with uh, some very fine steel wool and WD-40 but I don't have WD-40 so I will use ballast tool and as a preservative I will use this PTFE weapon grease. This is German Lupus PTFE Waffen Fett, but it's weapon grease. It's really good stuff. And this bayonet is full of dirt, grime, rust. It's all covered in this filthy stuff. So I will clean it now and give you some close-ups again when it's cleaned up and hopefully it will fit on the Pedazoli 3-band Enfield rifle. Okay, I have now used Ballistol and Bunox on the bayonet. Bunox worked a little bit better than Ballistol. I have soaked the bayonet with Bunox and let it sit here for 24 hours exactly and it didn't do really much. As you can see it's still full of rust but it freed up the locking ring. You can now fully engage the ring so you can slide it freely. That does work. I have also cleaned the screw and even the screw is 
uh, turning. So if I want, I can remove the lock ring from the socket and use something else on the bayonet. But this thing is still rusty as hell, as you can see. And I think it's it is a lot more pitted than I have expected. And well, you can see a little bit of the original metal, but it's still very rusty. And I have to use something a bit harsher than gun oil. So I'm not I'm really not satisfied with the result. As of now, I want to really strip all the rust and dirt, gunk, grime and so on of the bayonet. I want to make it look as new as possible. So I want a really shiny metal afterward on all this on all the surfaces of the bayonet. So if I use uh, acid and remove even the original finish, I don't really care. I want to make it look new again. So maybe I even polish it with a Dremel or something. I don't know yet. I haven't decided yet. But the socket is really rusty. And yeah, and it's also something now you can see where, where you can decide for yourself if you want to buy this type of rusted items. So you you know you now know what you get yourself into when you buy something from or an old bayonet from IMA for example. So you you have to do a lot of work to make it look good again. The tip of the bayonet was now dipped for almost an hour in 25% vinegar essence and I think this worked a lot better than the gun oil. As you can see, I have dipped it approximately five centimeters from the tip down to here. And a lot of the rust is gun. And by now I have surely pissed some people off because there are a lot uptight uh, collectors out there who despise using assets on antiques, but I want the finish as new or shiny as possible. So that's why I did it. And I will now use very fine steel wool and try to rub the rust off. And as you can see, this works pretty well. bit of oil to clean the rest of the rust off. And as you can see, this scrubs off really nicely. So you can now see it very clearly where the bayonet was dipped in the vinegar and where it was not. <laughs> 